Howdy everyone. I am Mohammad Ahmad Kureshi, working as an assistant professor in civil engineering department at RNG Patel Institute of Technology, Badoli. In the design of structure subject, till now we had studied WRC beam, and in that we had analyzed the section as well as we had also designed the section regarding the WRC beam. Now we will go for the examples related to the design of WRC beam. So, in the first example, we have to find the area of tensile and compression reinforcement required for a beam 300 mm. That is, width of the beam is given as 300 mm and 600 mm depth. So here. B equals to 300 mm and D equals to 600 mm. To resist the factored movement of 325 kilonewton into meter, an effective cover for tensile and compression steel are 50 mm. Means effective cover on both faces are same, that is 50 mm. Using M20 concrete and FE415, we have to find the area of tensile and compression reinforcement. So, in this data, we will just calculate the area of tensile and compression reinforcement. So, first of all, we will plot the figure regarding or considering the given data. So, B is 300, D is 600, and the cover on both the sides same 50 mm so the small d will be equals to 550 mm as the overall depth capital d is given as 600 so small d will be 600 minus effective cover so small d will be 600 minus effective cover is given as 50 so we will get the value of small d as 550 mm now here fck is given as 20 newton per mm square and value of characteristic strength of steel is given as 415 newton per mm square and the value of movement that is mu is given as 325 kilo newton into meter hence we have to convert this value into newton into mm so mu equals to 325 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm and as we know that for fe415 the equation for limiting moment of resistance mu limit equals to 0.138 fck bd square so putting all the values in the same equation fck as 20 value of b as 300 and value of d as 550 square we will get mu limit as 250.47 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm. We have to check whether the beam should be designed as a singly or doubly RC beam. Hence for that, here in our particular sum, value of mu that is 325 into 10 raised to 6 is greater than mu limit that is 250.47 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm hence the beam should be designed as w r c beam hence here value of mu2 
will be equals to mu minus mu limit. So here value of mu is 325 into 10 raised to 6 and mu limit is 250.47 into 10 raised to 6. So we will get the value of mu2 as 74.53 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm. So we had calculated the value of mu2 as 74.53 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm. Now we have to calculate FSC and FCC. So our next step will be to find FCC and FSC. As we know that FCC equals to 0 0.446 FCK. This equation is given in SP16 page number 13. So putting the value of FCK in the equation as 20, we will get FCC equals to 8.92 Newton per mm square. Now, as we have to find the value of FSC, so for FSC, we have to go for d dash by d ratio so here d dash is 50 and value of d is 550 which will be equals to 0 0.09 approximately 0 0.10 now using sp16 page number 13 table number f d dash by d equals to 0 0.10, we will get the value of FSC as 353 Newton per mm square. So FSC and FCC both are calculated here. Now it will be easier for us to calculate the value of ASC. So now we have to find the value of ASC. Now, as we know that MU minus MU limit, which is nothing but MU2, we had obtain in the first step equals to FSC minus FCC into ASC into D minus D dash. As I had told you in the previous lecture that this equation is given in IS456-2000 page number 96 and clause G1.2 and also in this page and in this equation the value of FCC is neglected in IS code, but we have to consider this value. So now we will put all the values that we had obtained earlier. That is MU2 as 74.53 into 10 raised to 6, FSC as 353, FCC as 8.92, and value of D and D dash that are given in the equation. So now MU2 is 74.53 into 10 raised to 6 equals to 353 minus 8.92 into ASC 550, 550 minus 50. So after solving this, we will get 74.53 into 10 raised to 6 equals to 1720.40 ASC and ASC will be equals to 433.21 mm square. So this is the area of compression reinforcement 
as 433.21 mm square. Now we have to find the value of area of tensile reinforcement. And as we know that for area of tensile reinforcement, firstly, we have to calculate the value of AST1 and then we will calculate the value of AST2. So firstly, for AST1, as in the given data, FCK is 20 Newton per mm square and FY is given as 415 Newton per mm square and hence using SP16, page number 10, table number E, we will get the value of limiting percentage of steel as 0.96% or you may use the equation PT limit equals to 19.82 into FCK by FY, whichever is suitable for you. So now I will use the equation AST1 equals to PT into B. Value of B is given as 300 into small d, that is 550 upon 100. So now I will get the value of AST1 as 1584 mm square. Now we have to find the value of AST2 and the equation for AST2 is given in IS456-2000. So I will use the equation AST2 equals to FSC minus FCC into ASC upon 0.87 FY. And in IS456-2000, value of FCC is neglected. This equation is given on page number 96 in IS456-2000. So after inputting all the values in the equation, value of FSC as 353, FCC as 8.92, and ASC as 433.21 upon 0 0.87 into FY as 415. So we will get the value of AST2 as 412.85 mm square so here we had calculated the ast1 and ast2 so from this value we can easily get the total tension area so ast will be equals to ast1 plus ast2 so value of ast1 is 1584 and value of ast2 is 412.85. So the total AST will be 1996.85 mm square. So by this way, you can calculate the total tension area for WB using area of tension reinforcement required for balance singly RC beam that is AST1 and AST2 area of additional tension reinforcement. Now from the given area we will provide the reinforcement for the tension zone and compression zone. As we had calculated total AST as 1996.85 mm square and ASC as 433.21 mm square using SP16 page number 229 we will provide 22 diameter bars having 6 numbers with total AST as 2280 mm square and 
for compression zone we will provide four numbers of 12 diameter bar having asc equals to 452 mm square so this is the way how we have to calculate the area of tensile and compression reinforcement firstly you have to check whether the beam should be designed as wrc beam or not then you have to find the basic parameters that is fcc and fsc then you have to calculate the value of asc then you have to find ast1 ast2 and lastly you will get total ast thereafter you have to provide the numbers of bars and diameter of the bars now we will go for second example in this example it is given that a rc rectangular beam 300 mm into 600 mm deep is subjected to a udl uniformly distributed load of 40 kilo newton per meter over a simply supported span of six meter and design the beam for flexor using m20 and fe415 so here the cover is not given hence we have to assume the cover so firstly we will go for the basic data here b is given as 300 D is given as 600. So now we will just write the basic data. FCK is given as 20 Newton per mm square. FY is given as 415 Newton per mm square. Here, assume effective cover. on both face as 50 mm so we are considering it as s 50 mm and effective cover e as 50 mm therefore effective depth small d will be equals to overall depth minus effective cover so here we will get small d effective depth as 550 mm and hence our ds will be 50 mm now we will check the self weight of beam as the moment is not given hence from the given data that is width as 300 and overall depth as 600 into density of concrete 25 so we will get 4.5 kilonewton per meter and it is given in the data that imposed load is equals to 40 kilonewton per meter hence the total load will be 4.5 plus 40 so we will get 44.5 kilonewton per meter now the factored udl will be equals to 1.5 into 44.5 for factored udl we have to multiply the udl with 1.5 so here we will get value of small d as 66.5 75 kilonewton per meter now as we know that for simply supported beam mu equals to wl square by 8 and we had calculated the value of w over here as 66.75 
5. So I will put in this equation 66.75 into L is nothing but span of 6 meter. So into 6 square divided by 8. So we will get mu as 300.375 kilo newton into meter and now for fe415 and m20 grade the limiting moment mu is given as 0.138 fck bd square so 0.138 into FCK is given as 20 into B is given as 300 into small d. We had obtained here as 550. So here 550 square which will be equals to 250.47 into 10 raised to 6 Newton into mm which will be equals to 250.47 kilo newton into meter. So here we had obtained the value of MU and MU limit from the given data. Now we have to check whether the will be designed as singly or doubly. And here in our case, we know that MU 300.375 is greater than MU limit 250.47 hence we have to design the beam as a doubly RC beam hence in such case our MU2 will be equals to mu minus mu limit value of mu is 300.375 and mu limit is 250.47 so we will get mu2 as 49.90 kilo newton into meter so we had find that the beam should be designed as a wrc beam and hence we will go for value of FCC and FSC. So we have to find the value of FCC and FSC. As we know that FCC is nothing but 0 0.446 FCK. These values are given in SP16, page number 13. So after putting the value of FCK as 20, we will get the value of FCC as 8.92 Newton per mm square. Now, for FY equals to 415 Newton per mm square and D dash by D ratio, value of D dash is given as 50 and value of d we obtained in the first step as 550 so we will get 0 0.09 approximately 0 0.10 hence using fy equals to 415 and d dash by d as 0 0.10 we will get the value of fsc as 353 newton per mm square now, as we had obtained both the value, we may easily find the value of ASC. Hence, our next step will be to find ASC. And for ASC, we know the equation MU minus MU limit, which is nothing but MU2 equals to FSC minus FCC into ASC D minus D dash. This equation is given in IS 456 2000 page number 
96 and on this page value of FCC is neglected. So after putting the value of MU minus MU limit that is MU2 as 49.90 into 10 raised to 6 equals to FSC as 353 and FCC as 8.92 into ASC and value of D as 550 and D dash as 50, we will get the value of ASC as 290mm square. So the area of compression reinforcement is 290mm square. Now we have to find the area of tension reinforcement and to find the area of tension reinforcement Firstly, we have to find the value of AST1. Now, for FCK equals to 20 Newton per mm square and FY equals to 415 Newton per mm square using SP16 page number 10, table number E, we will get the value of limiting PT as 0.96% or you may use the equation PT limit equals to 19.82 into FCK by FY and you will achieve the value as 0.96%. So, we will put the value of PT limit in the equation AST1 equals to PT 0.96 BD by 100. So 0 0.96 into value of B is given in the data as 300 and effective depth as 550. So we will get AST1 as 1584 mm square and now we have to calculate the value of ast2 so ast2 will be question mark now using the equation that is given in is 456 2000 page number 96 that is as2 equals to fsc minus FCC into ASC upon 0 0.87 FY and inputting all the values in the above equation that we had obtained earlier upon 0 0.87 into 415 equals to 277 mm square and hence the total tension reinforcement area AST equals to AST1 plus AST2. So value of AST1 we had obtained as 1584 and AST2 as 277. So we will get total area of tension reinforcement as 1861 mm square. Hence, we had calculated firstly the area of compression reinforcement and second the area of tension reinforcement. Now we will provide the reinforcement based upon this total area. So to provide the reinforcement as AST we had obtained 1861 mm square and ASC as 290 mm square using SP16 page number 229 we will provide six numbers of 
20 dia bars having total AST 1885 mm square and for ASC we will provide two numbers of 16 dia bars having total ASC 402 mm square so by this way we have to design a doubly rc beam firstly we have to calculate the basic details then we have to check whether the beam should be designed as a doubly or singly then we have to find the basic parameters that is fcc and fsc then we have to calculate the value of compression zone area and then tensile zone area and then lastly we have to provide the steel in for the given data hence in the next lecture we will study some more examples related to the doubly rc beam thank you